Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season 16. This is Bird Blintz from Bangladesh City Base GM. Uh, stats on the account are 139 hours played, gone 93 and 109. This is the very beginning of season 16. What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch. If you are interested in getting better at the game for Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. Hi, welcome to another Fixed Friday, folks. Playing as blue in the fourth seat. Settings, we got a full six-player game with a neutral bot. Love that. World Domination on Classic. Auto 60. Neutral bot, fix cards, balance blitz dice with with alliances on fog, blizzards, portals off. I'm in position four. In the first position, the yellow player is Shelby Raid, USA flag, going for South America. In the second seat, the black player is Era, the fifth 20 from Germany, going for North America. In the third seat is General, the loud 1-1, one, one, 5 one, three from Latvia, playing as Magenta. Uh, I'm in going for Australia. I'm in position four playing as blue. This is Bird Blends from Bangladesh. Trying to hang on to his classic fixed GM status. I have an Africa spawn. Take this opportunity to ally up with my neighbors. Okay. Let's make it obvious what we're trying to do. Uh, and let's also hope that yellow knows how to play. <laughs> green declines. <laughs> okay, we know green's an idiot. Um, green declines. Good to know. Yeah, so we know yellow is... Well, we, rather, we hope yellow puts cards exterior. Um, gets cards exterior or fucks with North America. Okay, red blocks magenta in Australia. Pops the six right away. Okay. All right, so red is not willing to, to play nice. Green declines the alliance. Man, what a great example. So let's, let's predict, based on the decline, how green is going to play. Looks like they move into Europe. They get cards exterior. That hastens yellow taking South America. I generally find players that decline the alliance to be not very good. The, the rationale for doing it doesn't make sense to my brain. It says to me, I don't understand that the alliances in risk aren't actually alliances. I don't understand that the alliances in risk are merely an additional means of communication. And because I don't understand that, I'm not going to commit myself to anything. The way I see that thought process going, it's inherently mistrustful and the thought process of a more basic player because um, as you get better in the game of risk, you do particularly something negotiated like this, right? A, a, a classic fixed world on style where the key to winning is to negotiate for a better position. Um, the ability to do so matters a ton. Magenta didn't ally me, red didn't ally me, but they didn't decline. So we just can't talk to them. Green specifically said, I am choosing to not talk to you. It's an entirely different kind of message. Okay. Not going to take Africa turn two. Now I am. Well, let's spend our threes. Let's spend our threes. All right, good enough. Take Africa turn three. But I'm going to guard on... Uh, North Africa, single stack North Africa. This, I didn't take it um, on this turn because I don't want to incentivize Magenta to break. Magenta had a position in Australia that Red knocked. So I'm hoping and kind of expecting that the Magenta stack goes that way. But I also don't want them to really give them a reason to go the other way. Green is just sitting and waiting. Green is an opportunist. Takes a card. Yeah, Green's a good player. Better than I thought. Better than I thought from someone who would decline. So this is a psychology thing. Green is going to offer and or accept later in the game um, 
when he sees that negotiating with me makes sense for his interests. He doesn't want to commit anything. Right, so the, the naivete there is the assumption that accepting the alliance request commits yourself to anything. Okay, yellow does have material in Asia, but they're, they're grouping it in such a way that they want to put it into South America. That's not good. Black continues to invest in the NA sphere. Magenta, we hope, steps into India and pressures red. Looks like on this board, green gets uh, Europe. India? India. Hit India. Get the fuck out of my face, you, you motherfucker. Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, that's okay. All right. All right. I accept. Now, in order to get that card, you will actually have to break me. That's fine. Red takes Australia. Red f***ed you. I didn't f*** you. You sat and you send your troops. Let's see the noob slam. Noob slam Marino folks. I want to see it. Do we have cards? We do not. All right, the three southern bonuses have been taken. Red is in Australia. Yellow is in South America. I am in Africa. I like Africa a lot. Black has all of his material pretty much in the North America sphere. Green is next to Europe, but hasn't invaded yet. Green also might be positioning for the noob slam. We might see the, the double us. The dreaded doubler! <laughs> double Australian noob slam. Um, I still haven't settled on whether or not I think green sucks. Or green is good. We, we don't actually know yet. We don't have enough data. Turn four. Yellow holds. Sets. Strengthen. But not to break. Where's yellow's card? In Europe. Their card is in Europe. Does yellow try and bully for Europe? Where does the five go? Five goes in. Five goes in. Yellow, set. yellow says not only. Would I like a plus two, but I would also like a plus five and or I would like to go to an intractable war with Pete to bring my two positions together. So let's see how I get. This is very bad for me, just so, just so you guys understand. I'm not like super scared about it because if yellow decides to just fucking sue me, then I, I get sued, right? There's nothing I can really do to stop it, but let's try and figure it out. Does Magenta break my bonus? Tend to go for Australia. They leave. That is good for me. Now I get an additional three troops. Cool. Okay. Uh, we be stacking. All our troops in North Africa. And no, set on four sucks, but at least we held the plus three. All right, so Magenta's in Europe now. We might see the noob slam from green. It's basically whoever has cards here, but Magenta and yellow being in Europe is good for me. Does green take the noob slam here? 23 goes down through the one and the two. Well, that's one. Uh, okay. Does not take it. Me having to go to five cards sucks, so I, I definitely want to uh, maintain that four in Quebec. And keeps me from getting killed. If for some reason this continues to exist, then I can add to my two and go hua hua. Fortify. All right, that's not friendly. If I didn't know better, I'd say yellow is trying to get me killed. Okay. Don't hit my four. No, now I die on five cards. Fuck. Now I die on five cards. Fuck. Too bad. Magenta sets here, takes Europe. Leaves Europe. And <laughs> the noob slam. We knew it was coming, folks. <laughs> the noob slam, folks. Yes, oh, he's gonna kill Red. He's gonna kill Red dead. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is so fucking good. Yeah, you deserve it too, Red. Taste it. <laughs>
<laughs> Red gets lowest. <laughs> I was, I still might die. It's not looking good for me, guys. But uh, hey, and I fucking tell you, folks, uh, going five card sooks. And now we back off. We have a middle guard, because I want yellow fighting with black in North America. We see the triple noob slam. Do we see green go in too? No, green takes Europe here. Yeah, what I expected all along. Green takes Europe. This gives yellow no, no real card options, which is why I backed off from the uh, Brazil North Africa thing. Yellow's card options are almost gone, and they don't look like they're trying to preserve them. Oh no, they're going to go into North America and contest black. I love that. That's good. Question here now. Do I survive? Who could kill me? Uh, nobody, right? I survive. Yes, good. We survived to trade. Black sets gets the 10. I lose my North American position. And now black's going to be at war with yellow. Yeah, I, I will position. Yeah, I understand. I understand. You have to hit my three. He's not taking it. He's letting me take a card with it. What a guy. What a guy. Little does he know that I have a plus two on it, which is such a bummer. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Sorry, Black. Uh, how do I how do I be nice to Black here? I, think I want to pin yellow there. I need a thirty-seven stack. Green and ally me up. And green slowly takes Europe. Card options for yellow are limited. Oh, okay, so green's not good, right? You don't make that roll. That's a dumb roll. And it also uh, doesn't, right? It restricts, well, I've kind of restricted yellow as well. So what do we do if we're yellow? We can't really get, we set here. The cards in Mexico? Or do we break the eight? We continue to get cards in Europe, keeping green off Europe. That's good for me. Let's do a quick Q&A question here. What app do you use to make those red circles? I know you guys ask me a lot. What app do I use? It's called the Screen Marker and Recorder app. Gives you circles, gives you squares, gives you different colors. Hey, look who figured out how to get into Asia and ensure that they keep taking cards. I'm very impressed that yellow has figured that out. So now blue gets North America. All right, do we see blue go bad neighbor or do we see <coughs> green be bad neighbor with blue I or the, with black? I think, um, so we now have a stable board. Black gets a plus five, green gets a plus five. Magenta gets a shit roll. I'm, I'm sitting on a plus three. So I'm middle of the pack. I don't mind playing the Africa position at all. We have a dude's trade. Let's not use that yet. Now we might see Australia player fully. If I'm the Australia player, I remove yellow from Asia. I'm keeping yellow pinned in. Let's see if they go bad to black. Green takes Europe here. If I'm green, I probably think about uh, popping yellow out of Asia as well. No, he's trying to hold a European turtle strategy to the middle. Yeah, full turtle. Okay, full European turtle strategy. Okay, light guard. The four says don't break me, but... And y'all will be allowed to take cards in Asia. Good. And now we lock off the Australia player here. We stack on mid-east. We don't give them cards. Or, th or the ability to break my Africa. Yellow pressures me, though, instead of black. All right, this would be Magenta's last chance to meaningfully affect the board before they get uh, fifth. 
and it looks like they're going to do so. They're going to break. No, they're going to remove yellow. Right off. Uh, in this case, I will not be holding on to cards. I'll just back off and let yellow move through me. Yellow sees that as a sign of respect. Good. So I have a good neighbor in yellow. I will give up the plus three troops in order to allow yellow to create an additional position in Asia, which again ensures that Magenta gets fifth this game. Now, how much do they put out? Well played. <laughs> Hit him. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Get fucked. Get rightly fucked, sir. <laughs> it doesn't even take the kill. Oh, man. All right. So the yellow and magenta kills are on the table. Black sets. Black, black and green's troops are locked to this. I think we go into the three player. No. Black's going to take magenta. Okay. Good enough. Yep. Magenta is surprised that they're dumb and they spam victory. And smell you later. All right. Top four. Now, yellow is also kind of on the chopping block. 22 for three. Unfortunately, I think I take this. I want to work with black to kill green. Okay. The uh, full revenge play, spoiler alert, folks, was not the right play for, <laughs> for, uh, yellow to make so in our stack in middle east we're getting plus five black's getting plus five green's getting plus five green has initiative green doesn't break and green declined my alliance so i obviously have chosen to work with black i'm trying to communicate with black i can't communicate with green this is actually a great example of why you accept right i'm going to be favorable black now gets plus seven yeah we can just team on this guy for sure 100 percent I open the green stack. Hopefully green Susan to black. One. Ooh. Two. No. Ah, it takes Australia. He downgrades. Green downgrades here. Yep. Black thinks I did something favorable to him. I was trying to open the green stack to sue into the into black and, and end this game in my favor. <laughs> he doesn't see that. Okay. Great. Great. Now we have the deadliest trap on green. Yep. Deadliest trap indeed. Moves 55 out. Yep, correct. This is, uh, this is the best <laughs> the best communication I've ever seen in my life. Well fucking played, dude. <laughs> well fucking played. Keep that like that. And green probably sues into me here. If they don't, it's just, again, they're kind of their last chance. How many players have we seen die in Australia? We saw magenta die in Australia. <laughs> we saw red die in Australia. <laughs> and we now see green die in Australia. 
half the table. <laughs> it's like, but Australia is great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Black locks is stuck. Yep. And yeah. Dude, straight again. Green now understands the deadliest trap. So how long does the deadliest trap last? Black's getting 13 a turn. I'm probably getting 12. 8, 9, 10, 11. No, 5, 10. 13. I'm getting 13 as well. Yeah, we're getting the same. Good enough. The advantage to uh, Black Seat, though, right, being able to deadly trap on the one point. Um, so you guys understand this structure is the deadliest trap. We have a three-point block on the Australia player, um, and we just restrict their ability to play until they get teamed on and die. Classic deadliest trap. An open black stack. A bit of a troop lead, so I would like him to take the initiative for a fair 1v1. 69 troops. Green is skipping, hoping that we hit each other. And he sits in fortify. Yeah, black has a very decent troop lead on me, so it would be nice um, if he were to take the initiative. That's why I opened your stack, sir. How many troops? How many troops? Okay. We are equal. I'll put my generation in on it. I got a bad roll. We are still equal, 120, 122. This guy's still skipping. Black tried to take initiative on, I did. I did. I, I did. <laughs> I did, we're equal. <laughs> you've, you've 10 troops on me. He's gonna hit him with the stack. Yes, good enough. Green having no cards is a great strategy, but it's, it, he's still only going to get second. There's nothing green can do to stop the death. Same sitch. Black is like turn ahead of me with initiative. So, I mean, he could probably just clean up and get a good roll. Yeah, good enough. Clean up on clean up green, get a good roll on me. Yeah, and win that way. I like this. Nothing I could do. I didn't want to overcommit, right? So he's going to get the kill. He's not going to give, he isn't going to give me a lower placement. Um, but this is a good game for, yeah, there's no winning for black unless imagine the seven fails. Oh, did he get crazy good dice? Yep. GG. And yeah, as I said, um, the, the green player in Australia, um, not allying up, right, is a bit of a tell that they're not very good. I feel like black here got insanely good dice or am I crazy? We shall consult the videotape, folks. Happy to get second this way. Just about the best possible outcome. Other than getting first. Yeah, well played, man. Good game. And there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to uh, Black Era the Fifth for knowing how to play Risk and getting this game done very efficiently. Is he a grandmaster? He's a master, yep. Well, so... Uh, defeating one novice, one beginner, two intermediates, and losing to a master, starting at GM, it is a loss, 
do we stay at GM? We do. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Bert Blitz from Bangladesh. Um, sitting at... Do the stats right now. Uh, sitting at 26,190 GM. Record is now 139 hours. Played 93 and 110. Folks, thank you for watching. I really do hope you're enjoying the series. We're kind of refining more and more uh, the play pattern to Classic Fix. And it is very nice to see that there are folks out there like this gentleman who know how to play and can work with you to put a game down in a reasonable amount of time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. For all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.